This Yahoo was sent in by Zoe Kinski. Uh, she's been sending out a lot of good stuff. She's moving up the leaderboards. Thank you, Zoe. It's by I Yahoo. need a bit for her soon. Yeah, I know. It's breaking my back. It's the new. It's the new jingles. It's by Yahoo Answers user Josh, who asks, "What would you do if an Arby's manager punched you in the face?" <laughs> All right. Ironically, if you're about to eat Arby's, it's not the worst thing to have happened to you in that no! building. <laughs> uh, so, uh, buckle in. It's a little bit long. Okay, so my friend and I go into an Arby's to get some food last night. Not going to lie, kind of short on cash, so we don't order any drinks. Instead, ask for a water cup when our food is ready, you know? The manager tells us in a real douchebag way that the water isn't working and no, we can't have a water cup. It was like we were asking him anything outrageous, just a cup. Oof. I ask for something else, and he just continues to be way too concerned about his job. I'm a server. I work in a restaurant, so I think this guy's crazy, one, for being so rude. Two, he has to be able to supply us with something to drink. We finish our meal, and I decide it would be funny if I knock a rather large stack of cups that are sitting on the counter. Oops. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Uh-huh. That would be a real chuckle fest. Now this is where it gets interesting. My okay. friend and I proceed to the exit. There's a guy at the door. He's using the usual fuck you, blah, 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 verbal fighting stuff. We kind of <laughs> laugh and continue walking towards the car. Halfway to the car, I get clocked in the face from behind. You, Wait, someone what? punched you through the back of your skull and punched the, the front of your face bones off. My manager <laughs> ran out of the store with two other employees, punched me in the face, and the other employee shoved my friend to the ground. <laughs> I got hit pretty good. This guy had a running start, and I was completely blindsided. I was. Well, you, well, you didn't see. If you looked to your left, you would have seen Tyler Durden. Like, yeah, that's right. How do you feel like a man? Uh, feel like a strong man? I was. He down knocked for over a second. your cups. My friend jumped right up from being shoved. He saw me get whacked. So naturally, he's defending me. I didn't really see that part, but I know he got him a few good times. The guy ended up running in with blood all over his lip and shirt. The other two guys are just talking shit to me, surrounding me, trying to scare me. A man pulls up and breaks up the fight. We go straight home. I have a huge fat lip. My jaw won't even close right. My teeth hurt really bad. Friend's shirt is ripped up, blood all over it. We talk about it for a while. Figure we should call the cops, so we do. Arby's had called the cops too, exaggerated the story, told them we threw stuff and fought them first, whatever you know. We, called the, we told the cops our story, but what do we do now? What would you do if an Arby's manager punched you in the fucking Don't grill? Don't you guys feel like, listening to this story, that this person telling the story, like, is about to say, oh, I guess I should also mention we were really belligerently drunk, but I don't think that has any impact on the story whatsoever. I should mention we were very high on um, uh, hallucinogenic mushrooms, and we may have been at our home the entire time. This may be a fiction, like the time- We might have been fighting each other. This might have been like the time the world's worst zoo employee handed Travis a snake in his mind. Yes. And he, photosho he hastily photoshopped a picture of it. And then um, I called the police, and the police said, Travis, you've been home all day because you've called us 20 times. Also, the snake called us beforehand <laughs> and told us his side of the story. Also, said, I'm worried about Travis. <laughs> He's been lost in his house all day. Also, you're still high. And you'll never not be high, Travis. Whoa! Whoa! Um, what do you... I'm not interested in talking about the fight. It fucking happened. It's wrong. Violence is not the answer. It's not funny. We shouldn't laugh at the violence. What is hilarious, gut buster, is how you seek justice for this act. So what do you do? <laughs> Call the cops. The cops said they called us first and told us their side story. We have no proof. It's an Arby's. The fucking beef oils all over the place just completely get rid of any fingerprints we could have used to figure out this crime. Right. Uh, it's going to be hard to CSI this one. So it's the, your word against theirs, and they work at Arby's, so you lose just sort of de facto. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you do you know how decrepit you have to be if, if, for the cops to say, well... I hear what you're saying, but this Arby's manager is giving us a different story, and we're going to have to go with him. Because he, he It's an institution. Yeah. Why do we always have to be so hard on Arby's? I like Arby's. They serve fine food. Everyone I've ever interacted with there has always been pleasant. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure we have people listening that work in an Arby's. So they, fine, so they fucking cold clock every tenth person that comes to the store. <laughs> so you punch the occasional dildo. Who cares? They shouldn't have been in the store knocking over your cups. 
and, and throwing things and fighting with people and starting fights. That's right. I, I bought the Arby story too. I don't buy this email. You're an Arbypologist. This sounds like you're trying, you're angling for a class action lawsuit. Get everybody together who's ever been punched by an Arby's manager and you guys are going to try to bring down big beef and I'm not having it. But the, the sheer number of people who've been punched in the fucking grill by an Arby's manager is so enormous at this point that you'd end up getting like a buck 16. Maybe right. you have to. You would ironically have just enough to buy some jalapeno hush puppies at Arby's. And you promised yourself never again, never again, because you bought you door. bought some and you got fucking cold clocked, and then you ate one of them. And oh, the capucin. What Burn. if your What if your settlement came in the form of an Arby's gift certificate, and it just had like a picture of that manager, like here we go, <laughs> let's do this again. Let's kind of, you, are you gonna come to Tango with me? Name the Can place and time, this? motherfucker. Name the place and time, except this offer is you can, no, not you can on Fridays. sneak up on me and punch me in the face again. <laughs> Try it's, it. If I've been ready for you, oh, you and your two friends, Buford and Big Buford, I would have taken you down. <laughs> I just was there a small Buford sandwich, by the way. They're talking about rallies, they Fuck. hate each other. They're different. Oh, places. you got to go to rallies and claim sanctuary <laughs> or <laughs> gang war. That's what I'm saying. You go to rallies and you say, I'm willing. Shh, I'm willing shh, to commit to you. It's okay, man. What'd they do to you over there? Now, they, listen, we can figure out a way to get back at them, but I need to know, are you willing to die for this? <laughs> are you willing to beef die? Beef in, beef this? out, motherfucker. Beef, beef or die, motherfucker. Get out there. Here's a chain. Here's a box of tots. <laughs> You're going to need both on that hard battlefield. Yeah, you're gonna find the them with the keep your strength up. Yeah, if you don't get confuse hit, them. You make sure if you get hit with, I don't know, a knife. If so, they hit you with an Arby's knife. You eat those tots, and your hit points are gonna come right back. <laughs> this is all fucking. Take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. It's, <laughs> it's a curly fry. It's Arby's City Rampage. The problem with the curly fries at Arby's is it's very hard to judge how many fries you've eaten. No, oh, yeah. Because I like to eat about twenty fries a day, and if it's, with the Arby's. Uh, fries, they, they're very curly and long. Sometimes they're like four or five fries in there, just like in yeah. one fry, you know? It, come on, Obama. Could, yeah, come on, Obama. It could, be, it could be more accurately described as a bouquet. Yeah. As a fry arrangement. That's why you have to judge it by weight. Mm -hmm. Or tummy feel. Are we done with the podcast? Yeah. I think that was the end of it. It felt like the end of it to me. 